In the 1980s, Frankie goes to Hollywood, rode the pop gravy train for four years. Last November, Frankie was asked to reform for a Prince of Wales charity concert, celebrating the work of their producer and mentor, Trevor Horn. Bassist Mark O'Toole, singer Paul Rutherford and drummer Peter Pettgill were all keen to perform, but lead singer Holly Johnson could not be persuaded. Disappointed but determined to give it one more shot, the group decided to audition for a new frontman, throwing down the gauntlet to any vocalist, be they cool or a fool, who felt up to the challenge. This is what happened when Frankie say reform. Well, it's Sunday morning, it's a little early. You know I mean, I don't know whose bloody idea it was to do it on a Sunday. <laughs> Your eyes are so bloodshot. Oh, no. <laughs> I got took out last night and I'm not very happy bunny today, but there you go. <laughs> La, 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 la! So they're looking for a singer, I suppose, partly for the Prince's Trust show, but I think at the back of their minds, they're looking for somebody full-time, and maybe they're going to get back together again. We're just missing one vital element. Yeah, that would be the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> With hangovers ruling out Paul and Mark's desire to face the music, round one of the auditions is to be judged by Trevor Horn's assistants. We're the first line of defence here, so we're going <coughs> to cut the wheat from the chaff. We're going to get rid of the, uh, the mad people. And um, actually, I probably shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> <laughs> we are very disappointed that Holly isn't kind of doing it because he's, he's, ir he's irreplaceable. When two tribes go to war, money's all that you can. <laughs> well, the women have got more chance in my box, but if you'd ask him, I'm sure he'll say, all oh, the guys have got a better chance. There you go. <laughs> you said it for me. <laughs> I'm rooting for the boys. <laughs> Relax, don't do it. I think we realised how, how important a band we were in the 80s, you know, we were pretty good, you know what I mean, we fantastic records and, and that's the spirit that we're kind of doing it back in, you know what I mean, and I want that to kind of exist again, tread the boards and have a little bit of a laugh, you know what I mean, so. Some of them had good voices but they're not the right look, um, some of them had a lot of attitude and some of them have had a lot of freak going on. Thank you all for coming. I'm just going to tell you who's got through in the moment. Adam Fisher stayed on side. And the rest of you, thank you for coming. Um, there's only actually only one person we want to have back, and that's number five, and that's Scott. And Simon, number 20, yes. With the first round complete, disappointed hopefuls exit the building as the band and Trevor Horn take their places at the judges' table for round two. OK, we're ready. Honey, yeah, America! Mama says, Papa, you sound working for the bad guys. <laughs> relax, don't do it when you want to go to it. Relax, don't do it when you want to go. I don't think it's going so far. No one was enjoying the last guy. <laughs> I, I wanted him to go on for longer. I, I was curious to see where it would lead. <laughs> Things are locking up. John Cleese of rock, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Just going to retreat for a few minutes to have a conversation. With round two complete, Paul, Mark, Trevor <laughs> and his partner Jill need to confirm who's made it to the final three. <laughs> I gave them two. Three people, Scott, Simon and Ryan. Is Ryan here? Fantastic. <laughs> oh! Is he all right? Cowboy right. <laughs> <laughs> number one. We love you, dear. Cowboy number one. One again for man, son. On the air, America, I model shirts. Bob Van Helsing.
Russell clearly impresses the judges. And up next, it's Simon from Birmingham. Here we go, when two tribes go to war, point us so that you can score. When two tribes go to war, point us so that you can score. seems to be pushing Thank all you, the Scott. right buttons for Mark and Paul. For me, it's between Scott and Ryan at the moment. Yeah. It's him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's got all of it about him. Nice, you know, the funny thing is that when he came on, you could tell he was had the most experience. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he was the most confident. Yeah. Do you want oh, me to no, go and tell each of them? Yeah. I'll go and tell each of them and be nice. Thank you very much, Simon. We're going to be choosing Ryan. Wicked. Woo! Hey! Hey, thanks, man. Yeah! Woo! Man, you're right. I didn't expect to win, man, to get through the final and stuff, and it was... This is really good. It's really surprising. It's been a great day. So, Ryan is the boy's choice to fill Holly's shoes. But with just 10 days to go before they perform before 10,000 people, is there really enough time for Frankie to reform? Uh, we're in Bermondsey, uh, south of the river, a uh, music bank. Uh, it's the first uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood rehearsal after the audition. So, uh, just going to go in there and see what happens. Rock it with the boys, man. <laughs> It's been three days since the L.A. trained Newcastle-born performer Ryan Malloy won the competition that saw him become the new lead singer of Frankie Goes to Hollywood. With a performance at Wembley in front of 10,000 people just a week away, the band, who've not played together in 17 years, are running out of rehearsal time as Ryan joins them for his first day. Sorry, I'm late, man. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> Wicked. Hailing from Liverpool in the early 80s, this reformed version of the Frankies sees singer Paul Rutherford, bassist Mark O'Toole, joined by drummer Peter Pedgill and the original guitarist Jed O'Toole, who left the band before they were signed to their record deal. <laughs> This yeah. is the first time you've ever sung them. I hope you sing them like a pro. Okay. Right. I say that bit. I say that right. bit. I say that bit. You say that bit. You say that bit. <laughs> I say that bit. Right, so you're in the you're in the jungle with Kubla Khan. I'm in the jungle with Kubla Khan. You're the movie. Erecting. I'm erecting and in then the jungle I... with Kubla Khan. <laughs> and then we're all shooting stars. Okay. After that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's getting on fine, yeah, he's a pretty cool customer. He's not nervous, so good voice, great voice, well, that's why we picked him. Every other word is man. It's going well, man. Which you probably noticed, but it's cool. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome! Pretty good. <laughs> it feels great to be behind the drum kit again, great, yeah. I have to borrow this, mine's in the bin now. <laughs> It's, it's quite surprising when, you know, you know, all the fame and everything that's been surrounded in them and they're really, you know, just down to earth and just, just a great bunch of guys that like playing together. <laughs> Happens usually we run through it once and then we all go for the drink. <laughs> That's about all we it's did true. yesterday. It's true. Like you've done your work for today. Bye. <laughs> See you later. The big day has arrived. Having not performed together in 17 years, the reformed Frankie goes to Hollywood, nervously prepared to hit the stage. Me and Paul are going to be the front men, so so there's got to be a connection there. Where's Ryan? He's coming. I don't know where Paul is. If, if you sing the wrong thing in the wrong place, mm. you, you 
in big trouble. <laughs> It's time to do it, and I think everyone's a little bit hungry for that kind of for us because we because it's been such a long time. It's all kind of coming together, and now we're back here doing the Frankie thing, which may go on or may not. I'm not really sure. I just seen our Frankie rehearse. When I saw them up there, it, I did. I don't really believe in nostalgia. I'm in the nostalgia business, but I don't believe in it. But I did have a little tear in my eye, so uh, it just felt good, man. It's their destiny. It's been a whirlwind. For the first week, it was just, it was just a blur. And now this week, I feel like I need another week. With only the final dress rehearsal to go, the Frankies step out into the arena to meet and greet their European fan club, who've waited over a decade to see the band perform. Looking forward to that. Yeah. How's it gone? A little nervous. Yeah, you know? it's all somewhere. But if we weren't, we'd be inhuman. Unrecognisable. Brian, a new singer. An oldie but goodie as this time. Bad turn round. Right now, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, the year, so as Brian has been outstanding from day one, you know? Even when he didn't really know all the structure of the songs, he still belted stuff out that you wouldn't believe, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> you can't dance as good as him, I'll tell you that. As tension mounts, the Frankies get some added pressure when they learn they've been asked to close the show. We were supposed to go on uh, close the second half, weren't it? We were supposed to close the second half, but we played the tracks a couple of times in front of Trevor. And apparently, the rumour has it, he said no one can follow that. Because we rocked the fucking house, that's why. <laughs> so, uh, are the other lads coming to see us tonight? Because I know they wish us well and all that. Yeah. yeah. In Asher and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly silence. I think it's sad Holly's not doing it, personally. Uh, but I know he has his reasons. I said before it'd be great if there was a sort of spinal tap moment where just before the song started, Holly appeared and they sort of hugged and it was great. Stage, it wouldn't be great for the new singer, though. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be good for him, but it'd be great for, 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 for Frankie, uh, the film. Are you pacing her in there, boy, already? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, the cage animal. I'm going to wear the fucking carpet. I love the size of this shit. Oh, well, twice as big as the apartment, I mean. <laughs> what the fuck are you on? Fuck the builder. There you go. <laughs> Just one hour till curtain up, the Frankies step out for their final dress rehearsal. Come on, lads. This is all about me and not about you, OK? <laughs> <laughs> There's a chemistry that's, that's started to evolve, different from the, you know, the Holly chemistry that, that they had. Is, is, this is this new thing just bubbling up. It could be very exciting, you know what I mean? I'm nervous, we're very nervous, you know, but you've got to be confident in your ability, you know, what you do. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the president of the Prince's Trust. His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. <laughs> the Mast Marauders. We're back. <laughs> I tell you, I'm really excited about, about closing the show tonight. It's going to be weird when it's over because it's been so intense. I mean, it's been my, it's been my life for the last two weeks. And, and um, tonight after the show, you know, I'm not looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Good evening, Wembley. Round the pet shop, boys. <laughs> about to go on, bloody hell. What's that all about? 17 on, years. 17 hours. Yeah. 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 Seconds. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, seal. <laughs> what I've got to say, boys. Most of all, it, it has a sense of humour about it. Yeah. That's the fucking thing, you know what I mean? It's the thing that wins through with us all the time. Yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? So don't get bogged down in the yeah. I've done it a million times before. What's this worry about? Oh, yeah, that 
about 17 years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, you forgot that. <laughs> little one. fucking detail. Oh, really? But you think we're shitting ourselves, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> It's only been 17 years. Seal. Thanks, everybody. Into Frankie. Good night. After after this show. Most probably, uh, we we'll seriously think about doing something together again. You know, uh, it's a great opportunity to do it, and what a platform to kick it off. We are Frankie Goes to Hollywood. I don't know what Frankie's future is going to be about, but I, I think it's it, it's we have to pay homage to the the to, to the, the, the characters that we built, and but I think they have to grow as well. It was over in a flash, but what a flash, man. It's like a dream, and it was, it was fantastic out there. It's just, it was amazing. It was amazing. Amazing yeah. night, man. Cheers, boys! God, we deserve this fucking drink.